hey guys this is your passionate food lover and you're most welcome to my channel on the menu today is cinnamon rolls these rolls are just delightful please make sure to like comment and subscribe thank you so for this roll we will need three cups of flour an egg one tablespoon yeast melted margarine three tablespoons of sugar and some milk so in a large bowl add the egg and milk and mix together then you add in your sugar and then you also give it a little stir I'm not gonna use salt because the margarine that I'm using is already salted so I'm just adding it the mel the melted margarine now this is going to be a rich dough so the margarine is going to enrich and make it this fluffy nice dough so into it you add in your dry yeast give it a little stir this yeast is going to grow make your dough fluffy and then add in your flour you can use any kind of flour here i used an all-purpose flour give it a stir to have this chunky almost messy kind of dough transfer the dough to a working table and start kneading I put a half cup of flour to set aside and I'll try as much as possible not to use it because like I said this dough is a rich dough so it's going to absorb all the moisture so basically you don't need to add in an extra flour unless you really really have to because your dough is sticking to your hands At this point my dough is sticking to my hands but I'm still not going to use it. I'm going to need it for some time and see if it's still going to stick. Then I'll need the extra flour but if it doesn't then I don't need the flour. So after kneading for 5 minutes my dough, my dough came together very very nice and soft. So there was no need for that extra flour. Stick a finger into your dough and if it rises, your dough is ready to prove. Cover it up and let it rise for an hour. Whilst our dough is proofing, let's start with our filling. So for the filling, we are going to need cinnamon powder, brown sugar and Add all these ingredients together and start mixing. After an hour, our dough is ready and fully proofed. Transfer it to a working table and start spreading it out. Spread it with extra flour so that it doesn't stick to your working table and your rolling pin. I was trying to roll it out into a rectangle but I think I ended up with an oval shape some spherical sort of shape <laughs> but anyways 
I still ended up working it with my hand to achieve the desired shape that I wanted. Now this is where we, we add in our feeling. I felt so artistic while I was doing this. It was super smoothing and calming. To cut my dough, I'm going to use a thread instead of knife. The thread cuts in perfectly. So here I'm just cutting out the ends that really do not have any cinnamon filling. And I'll go in to divide my dough into not so perfect but almost perfect shapes. And then I'll just cut it out. Cover your cut cinnamon rolls with a plastic wrap and prove it for another hour. After an hour, our cinnamon rolls are perfectly proved and ready to be baked. Bake for up to 18 to 20 minutes in a preheated oven. So whilst that is baking, let's prepare our, our cream. For the cream, we're going to need one egg yolk, four tablespoons of sugar, and then a half cup of flour. Stir all these ingredients together. Now this cream is called custard cream. Usually cinnamon rolls goes with um, icing sugar, but I, I wanted to try something different. So here you go. Add one tablespoon of lemon juice into the mixture and give it a mix. And then add one cup of milk and stir. Well, the mixture till it thickens. After it thickens, your cream is ready. Let it cool, and it is ready to go over our cinnamon rolls. After 20 minutes, my cinnamon rolls were ready, and the smell was super amazing. It filled up my kitchen. It was delightful. Before you frost your cinnamon rolls, make sure it's perfectly cooled to room temperature. You don't want your cream to melt on a hot roll. I decided to frost just half of my cinnamon rolls to give room to anybody who wanted to try it without the cream. But in the end, everybody went in for the cream. It was super delicious. <laughs> Now it's time for me to try what I made. So I decided to go for one without the cream and one with the cream. 
a child in the end I ended up adding cream to all of it <laughs> The roll was super moist and not overly delicious. It was just a perfect kind of delicious. It was amazing. Thank you much for sticking with me to the end of the video. Please check out my channel for more content. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.